Okay, hello everyone. This is Michael from Eyes of the Universe. And as promised, I'm showing a video about what it takes to make a CubeSat, a real spaceship and a real satellite. So we're gonna go through some of the stuff I'm using for now and uh, the equipment will advance later on, but this is started from a blank sheet of paper and we're going to go through this over the next series and actually get this thing to fly uh, eventually as part of the Macho Mingi system. So as a reminder, we're just building a single space telescope and it's gonna be using a platform that I've come up with and along with some of the ideas that we've got from our kids course uh, with uh, Systemic Intelligent Fast Failure where we're teaching kids how to think. They gave us some tremendously great ideas and we're also looking for ideas from you guys also out there to add to it to make this system something that the community can use. So from our diagram, you'll see that I'm using a, several different components, one of which is the brains of the of this satellite. And they have what they've called phone sats that use actual cell phones. So I dug around to see what I still have around here. And I have an iPhone, an old iPhone, still works. I think it's an iPhone 3, it's my wife and kids. Uh, iPhone 3, still in good condition. But Apple has their operating system, so I don't know if I'll be able to work with this or not. Uh, I don't use a Mac, I use a PC right now. So programming these, you have to use a Mac OS, uh, either through the software as I understand it, um, to load on your PC as a dual boot or you got to use actual Macintosh. So I have this for not the time being. I also have an old Android uh, tablet. This is the, this is the Arnova 7K G3. This was sold at one time at Toys R Us for about 20 bucks. But it ran pretty, it was a pretty decent little device here. Pretty decent little device here. Had a little camera on there. Uh, some some ports here for SD cards, and uh, had HDMI out, USB, and uh, a sound for a headset. And the only thing with these is the battery life was really bad on these. So and they crashed. So I'll have to see if I still want to use this or not. But this is really coming from the standpoint of using what you have. So this phase of the build is for prototyping. And we just want to see what we can work, uh, use. Uh, we want to see what we can use. So this here, some of you recognize this, it's an Arduino, it's an Arduino Uno. So I have this uh, to control some servos, some old servos from an old airplane with a battery pack for that, which is pretty new. Actually, this is a new battery pack. I have a Wi-Fi camera and I put the part names of these, but this was about 20 bucks and it has, uh, so it's a, uh, it gave a pretty decent resolution, but it also does live streaming in connection with uh, software to say an iPhone or Android. And so I tested this out, it by itself it works okay. But for prototyping, I'll use this because it's wireless. I just have the wire on here for to charge it up, but it has an internal battery. You can actually add SD cards to it. Uh, so it's pretty decent. This I got from a garage sale. This is my little electric uh, board. So I'm not a real electrical guy at this point, but by the time this project completes, I think I will be pretty decent with dealing with electronics. But it still works. I just pulled off the circuitry that was on there and I uh, still have some of the pieces still left that I got from the garage sale. And I had this from a previous project this will be our little CubeSat frame. 
for prototyping. Now you don't send this into space, this is plastic, but it could be, it has about the same form factor as an actual cube set. It's a little bit bigger than a 1U, but um, I'll still use it as an example to, uh, to start building from. This is a model, a small model of a, a actual cube set frame that uh, NASA Ames used. And we had this for another project. I just took this and uh, added to, made the uh, model using SolidWorks. The cargo base sits here and then the GNC or the guidance navigation control and all the circuitry goes in here. We were gonna design a telescope payload in this area here. Now this is a small miniaturized model of, of a NASA Ames um, 6U CubeSat. And one of my earlier runs, what you can see here, I was making this on a 3D printer, which I was still learning how to use. So there were some errors there, but this is a 3D printer. This is the GTEC i3, which I've already modified, took quite a bit, not a little bit to make the prints come out has a dual head right now I have some flexible filament and some glow-in-the-dark filament I was playing with and I've I've had some modifications but I'll add you'll see some modifications on that to add some fans to, to cool off the filament a little bit better so I can get better models but this is everything I have to work with and like I said we're working from a blank sheet of paper to Get this this is just a notepad to making notes so uh i can write on this my ideas so you can see here that was my show from this morning radio show notes to myself special thanks for dr lemons he had a kid session there so uh this is what we have to work with to start our first prototype for a space CubeSat sized space telescope. Stay tuned. So that was it guys. That was the first session or the first run of uh, the build that we're going to be doing. Just showing you the parts that I have right now. If any of you have any suggestions or uh, want to support any kind of way, you can always do so. You'll see the information below on the video where uh, my email address is and we can reach me and hope you can keep following along to see how this progresses it's going to be a great project and also keep looking at uh the website exoplanettech.com and uh exoplanet technologies and also listen to bridgelight radio network where i also have a radio show where i talk about technology and things that are going on in the community take care see you next time